At this tech training center in Shanghai, they are slowly but surely creating a robot revolution. We watched as a team of operators helped put the human into humanoid robots. Through repetitive tasks, they are generating data which will eventually allow a fleet of robots to be programmed to do everything from making a sandwich to restocking supermarkets. This is where AI is being transformed from something obscure and intangible to joining the physical realm of our everyday lives. It can take a lot of dangerous work, a lot of dirty works and uh, uh, repeated works and release our human and we can focus on what we want to do. Quality director Ran Chung believes by 2030 most homes will have a robot. And China's huge manufacturing base is helping the country take a lead in the field. We have uh, the, the market capabilities and also the base, uh, the base of manufacturing and also the, um, the number of, telig uh, of intelligence in AI fields. Uh, China almost have the top of, uh, it's on the top of the world, so we can believe that the future of uh, robots is in China. This year, China has shown off a troop of dancing robots, a collection capable of running a half marathon, or at least trying. And one company has shown us exactly how factory floors might look in the future. Behind China's tech drive are subsidies from the government and an ambition from the very top to overtake the United States. On a recent visit to tech companies in Shanghai, Xi Jinping told workers the success of the nation rests on them. What's happening here in robotics is the same strategy that was used to create China's dominance in electric vehicles. The country has built this industry from scratch with the clear aim of becoming a global leader. While Donald Trump is seeking to revive American manufacturing jobs, China is creating automated alternatives. There are hundreds of companies like this one in Beijing using AI to develop robotic solutions in every field. And one of China's biggest advantages is the four million students a year graduating in science, technology and engineering. This gives us a very rich talent pool, and as the technology develops, they are improving their skills in many different areas to help advance the number of potential uses. China and the US may have agreed a ceasefire in their trade war, but when it comes to technology, robotics has become one of the fiercest battlegrounds. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Shanghai.